What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here. Welcome back to another video and today is another race vlog. Today is the day of the Forest of Dean Autumn Half Marathon. <laughs> Welcome back to another video and that took approximately eight minutes to get from my front door to park up here. So we're back for another race at the Forest of Dean Half Marathon. Going to be recording everything on the Insta360 Go 2. So what were the plans for today? Well the original plan was going to be that I was going to jog on up here three and a half miles on the trails to get up to Speech House, do the half marathon and jog it back and treat it as a long run. A bit of a long run workout but sadly the kids brought home a sickness bug on Monday which swept through the house uh, kids were very ill, baby was very poorly, kids off school, it was carnage. I thought I got away with it scot-free, so did the wife. Uh, the wife still has got away with it scot-free, but I got a scratchy throat on Friday and yesterday, Saturday, felt like I'd been hit by a bus. I feel a little bit better today, but I also understand I'm not firing on all cylinders. So I've got to be honest with you, I need to be a little bit careful today and see how I feel because the long-term health obviously is the main aim of the game. So what I'm going to plan to do is just go out there and see how I feel. The first three miles are average downhill, so I'm going to kind of get down to Mallard's Pike, which is where it's the first big climb is, and just see how I feel. And if and if, if the illness is taking too much out of my body, then I'm just going to back off and, and leave it there. But hopefully uh, we won't and we'll be able to finish it and we'll be able to run strong. Uh, but we'll see how we go. I'm not expecting anything because of the illness, so we'll see how we go shoe choice is endorphin speeds i was going to go for a carbon plated shoe but on the trails i've done carbon plated shoe runs on the trails all the time and i test it but what you've got to be a little bit careful of and especially if i'm in racing mode is if you land on a rock or some uneven ground the carbon plate is not forgiving and your ankle rolls so you land on something and you go and you can have a bit of an issue so i've gone with the speeds they're the next lightest shoe i have in my arsenal with the nylon plate which is a lot more forgiving um so yeah thought we'll give those a crack on a run today so i've got uh it is 9 44 as you can see there, I've got 16 minutes until the start. So I'm just going to sit in the car until the last 10 minutes. I don't want to spread any lurgy around. And I'll just hop out there and then there's five minutes to go and get on over to the start line.
good running, buddy. Sixth place, you've got about 20 seconds on the guy behind. Well done, mate. there we go back home voices going now that was one heck of an effort i have absolutely no idea where that came from but i am really really happy with it so i printed it out so i've got uh 119 36 24 chip time uh and 119 38 50 gun time uh so yeah absolutely unreal i haven't uploaded it to strava or anything so i don't know the splits and things off the top of my head but i'll run through the race with you very quickly but i've got to say sixth place overall fifth in my age category there's the uh the medal which is a really nice medal and i got uh first local mail run a little wooden trophy that's my first ever running trophy how epic is that and they said oh andy you've got a prize i was like woo hello so uh yeah wow just like absolutely unreal can't believe that just happened but i've got to be honest with you that really has taken it out of me now so i really need to make an effort now for the rest <clears throat> for the rest of the day and also for the rest of this week to kind of refuel well eat well i have been anyway but just try and keep on top of this cold and you know probably have a nap this afternoon if i'm honest with you because i feel absolutely wiped out but let's roll through the race so i was quite conservative at the start because i knew the race wouldn't be won in the first three miles the first three miles is average downhill there is a cheeky little hit in there but on average it is downhill to mallard pike so we ran 5.49, 5.55 and 5.40 something. So the average pace down to Mallard Pike, the lake, at three miles was around 5.53 per mile. Something crazy. Um, and I was running with a Monross chap and I said to him, God, this, this pace is hot. Uh, this is really hot. I felt fine, but this pace is hot. Uh, and then... Um, Oh, then we started the climb. So the first climb came and, and this pack, uh, there was obviously, I, I started in 10th or 11th. I remember counting back thinking, right, okay, so you're going to chip away and pick off these people one by one. That's the goal here, is to work your way up slowly but surely. And as a quick side note, as I looked down at my shoes, the speeds did great. Um, so yes, uh, started going up the first climb. No one came back to me at all. <laughs> Nobody came back to me. Everyone was running really strong but i started to gap the people behind me so i ended up getting into no man's land even in that fourth mile really uh and then um so i was going up the hill and then uh what happens is you get to the top of the hill it levels out you go up another short sharp little hill uh, and that's a that's a killer actually that really is a killer and that comes to five miles and then you go you, you kind of do a u-turn and go down a tiny bit a bit of a switchback go down and then you do another switchback and you go up for another mile and then that's the three big climbs done or the three what i call the big the biggies done and i've made no coverage on catching up the person in front and i've made and i think i gapped the person behind so i was i got to the top there and i knew at that point that i had to now put the hammer down because that's a bit where you do a couple more switchbacks down to Mallard's pike lake there is a couple of it, it's like this it kind of rolls gently down so you do work your way down but there are a couple of ups and downs in it as well so i thought to myself okay keep rolling uh put the hammer down and i felt strong at that point but what i did do and i'll see if i still got it it's in my pants if i have it this is how classy i am yeah i've still got it Da, 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 da. a univerd gel so i thought to myself what i'm gonna do i'll put that down there hopefully someone will pick that up and put it in the bin um 
what I'll do is, because I know I'm feeling under the weather and I'm going to be using more energy than I need, I'm going to take a gel with me. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have the gel in one go. So I ripped the gel at mile seven when I got to the top and I used that gel all the way up to mile 11 and a half. I literally took tiny bits every half mile. That was it. So I looked at my watch, if it was a half mile, took a tiny bit of gel. And, and I just thought to myself, just keep a little bit topped up. Don't sort of like run out of energy. And that helped a lot. So got down to Mallard's Pike, split some five somethings down there because the going up the hills were 640s and 630s uh, and uh, got to Mallard's Pike, which is around mile nine. And I knew at that point that was when the race was going to be lost and won. I started to, to close on the person in front of me. Uh, I ended up getting up onto the cycle track around mile 10 and catching up with him and past him. And like a lot of people say, I thought to myself, well, when you go past someone, you've really got to put an effort in. So I put an effort in, even though I really didn't have the energy to put an effort in. So I put some, I just, just tried to keep going. And, and at that point, I really started to flag a bit, but I kept going. I kept splitting quite like low six miles, like six teens. Uh, for 11 and 12 when I was like this is I'm really motoring up this cycle track and anyway the cycle track has one last cheeky surprise at the top there's a nice little hill that we divert off and go up and I thought to myself you've got to run up this hill and you've got to keep running over it and you've got to run hard over it so I so I did and I was blowing out of my backside but I ran hard over the top of it put some daylight between me and the chap behind that I'd overtaken on the cycle track and just kind of it's then like a down and an up back to the finish so I just kind of put the hammer down and went for it and split a five something on that last mile coming in at 119.30 something so just from doing the 20 20 by one minute on one minute off fartlet workout on Thursday to this today I'm just over the moon I thought to myself on a good day I'd love to get 120 so to go 119 and feeling like this it shows that I feel like I've got that 150 or that 75 or 74 in me for a road run um I just so happy so yeah that I hope the race footage came out well I won't waffle on too much more just delighted to get my first trophy and a massive shout out to my wife who brought the kids up at the end that was so wonderful to see the kids there at the end uh, to James for making an effort to come up and see me at the end and for Lee Linda and Logan to come up and see me at the end plus all everyone else that talked to me at the end thank you so much it means the world to me you guys are amazing and I hope you all had great weekends and racing as well that's it from me today guys I'll see you next week for more videos if you enjoyed today give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always I'll see you in the next one until then